Hey guys, Tatrap here, bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on Simois. I'm today supporting on the Lifegot Momo for show with the British forces. I'm also on the battle group currently. Looking for a double engineer start. And on the right hand side, we've got Miguel or DVM, as he was formerly known, with Wehrmacht. Start things out with a Crutchitson into a Grenadier. In terms of rankings, I think both these players are roughly ranked 20 with their respective factions. Should be a pretty even matchup. Section next. I've been trying a little, you know, a few, I've played a few games, so as to say, on some more. Undecided what the optimal kind of like capping orders are at the moment. Definitely very easy to get your high munitions cut off on this map. So you gotta watch out for that. Location secure. Moving on. Laying my trap. Okay, mine, really mine from needed. Miguel kind of guarding the ramp up there. It's kind of interesting, it's more off to the side Ready rather than dead in the center. Tuning into the middle now. Getting some wire up over here. Capping out on the edge with the pyos, but it's not going to be connected. Machine gun after this for Miguel. I've tried out a few Grenadier builds. I haven't been terribly impressed with them so far. After their buffs. Sets up his machine gun. Expecting a rotation into here, but I'm almost going to jump into the next building. So the MG positioning not working out for Miguel. He goes over to here. This is a very easy win for the engineers, but there is a building over here. Let's do some camping with the kit while this is happening. Looks like that's going to go for an aggressive, harassing attack. So I'm going to be back towards the cutoff and just yeah, outright retreat from those grenadiers. This building does have a blind spot over on this side, so attacking from this angle is pretty good against it. And while this is happening, Miguel out the back doing some really annoying capping. I've been trying, yeah, I've been trying a few like multiple Grandier builds there. With the extra capping rate bonus, I, I still think the kitten is the way to go. Oh, we're coming back here, trying to shut down some of this harass. It's going to wheel its way out to safety. Flight throw now for Momo. Just a short burst there. Miguel is popping one as well. He's maybe a tiny bit behind on munitions, comparatively. He doesn't have this connected, that's the problem. Tries to connect it now, but engineers are there. He's probably going to need to repair that up. Or well, that returns to action as well. Currently, the pyres are occupied. Flame is about to pop. He's got a squad right next to it for merge, so. Ordinarily, he might have to play a little bit more defensively, but in this case, with the merging squad nearby, he can play very aggressively. Well, it tries to come in, but the machine gun was facing the right direction. We got one burst of flame on it. Captain all over. Definitely that uh, kitten harass down here was a pretty good plan, I think, overall. Drew some attention out of the middle where Momo was strong. Okay, so this is Transagrady Company, is it? No. Yes, it is. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's uh, not it. No squad nearby for the merge, and there is a Panzer Grenadier. Into the bottom. Now, this is a pretty tough map for anti tank guns. See how many they'll get on with them. Sandbags interrupted. Bit of a late retreat here from Momo. There wasn't really much to accomplish there. He wasn't close to decapping or. It's not like he was trading well there. Slightly delayed retreat. Does not have healing either. Ooh. Enemy forces have claimed our territory. Let's see what happened there. Ready to scout. Trying to do some capping. She then does manage to force away the flamethrower though, so he's gonna be able to hold his position. Pete is coming in from the other side. Even those we got on this side too. It's the mine on the ramp. Decides to retreat as well. Maybe worried about getting wiped on retreat crossing this bridge. It's a humble for Momo. He's busy talking at the moment. He's missed his timing a little bit. A slight fuel discount. It can come in earlier than this. Has been been as well, so so I think it's down. I say the Humber, in my experience, I tried it on this map, it was very bad against squads inside buildings. So I'd say more try and play away from the center with it, because if you have to just chip away at a squad inside a building, it's not very effective. Gives you plenty of time to maneuver. That's a really good idea, a mine on that bridge. Could be quite bad news for the Humber. Humber there getting a bit of damage in. A Bren now coming on. And a Stug, straight into the Stug here for Devian. This is a fast one too. Really, really fast Stug. He's had very secure fuel control and pretty good hold on this one as well, so he's been in control. Momo hasn't really branched out to harass on the edges too much. And it's just been a really, really slow start for the Humber. Don't know where he's going with it even that right now. Took out before nine minutes. It's gonna shut down that Humber big time. So yeah, you gotta be really sharp on your timings, I think. Gotta make sure like every 30 seconds is you know accounted for. You get it right on your fuel, right on your manpower timing. Get to work with it immediately. So if you uh, you know if your first three minutes. Uh, largely ineffective like they've been so far. It's not going to be uh, working out for you very well. And you know, we've got being two Panzer Greens, so there's plenty of squishy targets for this Humber to blast away at. He, with, I think he might have withdrawn one of the uh, Grandiers to turn them into a Panzer Green, right? So he did have two Greens at one stage. That's where the second Panzer Green came from. So did take one shot from the AT gun. Could be with Miguel considering going for the training at this stage. Try to get Vet 1 on all these units. Obviously the Stug with the Vet 1 is very good. And uh, getting a Vic, uh, edge on your Panzer Greens. The Veterancy edge is very important because I found them to be largely not very effective until they hit VET 2. That's when they actually start to trade well. And up until then, I found the, the new Bren infantry sections point. really bully the Panzer Greeners. Oh! It's a 
mine and we have a surplus of command points available. I think Momo is trying to intercept the kitten. Come up here, but the mine's shutting him down pretty hard right Our now. Enemy has over all over points. Almost everyone. Over this one just before as well. Let's get on with sweeping. Strig looking for a kill here. We'll get one bonus here, working on this section. But yeah, that was one thing I found, so if you can squeeze in the officer training, I would recommend it for your squads hit that one naturally. It's going for a second Stug now. It has locked into Luftwaffe as well, so I think this is, you know, a pretty good plan to do a fine with your plans, it's going to be bleeding a lot. Eventually getting towards the manpower discount, very handy. Just took healthy again, and more mines coming up from the kitten. And jump into the building, doesn't have an LMG on this squad. If he did with these two windows, it would still be pretty good, but... Just two windows, it's more even trade. And with that loss in Humber, there's a big loss in momentum for Momo at this stage. And the Panzer Greens are starting to take over a bit. But here we go. Centaur coming out for Momo has blocked into air and sea. Nibelwerfer for Miguel. Nomo's map control not looking too good right now. He hits one model with that mine. There we go, Centaur comes in, looking for the kill on the MG in the building. Section's coming in on the flank. Looks like he's going to go around to the north with the machine gun. Stugs are getting a little bit of damage done here as well. Door backs away. There's a bit of road here, so he's quite fast. Ships are making some plays. The enemy have taken our territory. The T gun is covering if they chase through this area. We have a look, see if Momo's got a. Doesn't have any tank on those yet. Oh boy. I hadn't encountered this yet. Interesting, there was a, a sound and lag bug. I, I only uh, seen that in fours. I have never encountered counted that in my 1v1 so far. Interesting that happened in a, a replay here. Territory lost. I think he did go for officer training eventually. Look. Yep. Quite Our late though. Territory is exposed. We must re-establish a connection. Drop this weapon. Sector lost. I wanted all this stuff, I guess, first. I don't know. I, I still think. Oh, it's a big thing. What now? Make that infantry regret shooting at us. Getting the. Uh, to get to as fast as possible. Centaur hits a mine down here, slowed down. Let's have a sweeper upgraded in Mo, but he's hit up to the north right now. There are some mines up there. I think that was just a trip flare. Centaur limping its way out of there. Still making that kitten useful. Sure, Mo was probably hoping to hit the kitten with this mine over here, but it didn't happen. Those oh, troops are rolling in now. They are very far away from the centaur. Oh, okay, yeah, that was Momo's mine. I wasn't sure. They do still have quite a lot of trouble telling mines apart. Not familiar with their mines yet. It used to be easier to tell in Co. 2 because Brit mines had three. More distinctive than they are in Co. 3. What now? Differences. Uh, 
lot of time out of action with this centaur. Section's getting chased away here. Almost picked up a second anti-tank gun now. This is a pretty solid map for supply surplus med tent to go right around here. A little bit more forward presence. Did actually see a bit of that on, but on the other side. Pre-patch game I cast with AE. And Momo is floating a huge amount of manpower right now. Needs to uh, lock in. Maybe he's planning to go for some commandos. He's very close in terms of command points. But they're going to come in with a vet disadvantage against the Panzergrin. It could be tough. Pack picked up now by Miguel. Stretch right there. The AT gun's there as well. Pitch from the Centaur. Stig's a bit of a chase coming in here. Momo not going to block himself with the AT gun. He's alright. He worth for coming in on the AT. That scatter boat. Momo dropping in some commandos. At the back here behind the machine gun. Treating with that. T guns can't find the angle. A lot of buildings here. One of those straight bit one. The enemy has claimed our sector. So Momo must have gone for infantry training. We are losing possession of the capture comes point. In. Shot combining up with the Centaur. Centaur commando combo. And Momo are doing a bit of harass down here. Doesn't have the smoke anymore to break free of that suppression though. Stuka aircraft ready to loiter the target area. And well, he's pretty much spent through his manpower bank now. He's ticking up. I wonder if he's going to go for some uh, foot guards. Be pretty strong on this building. Sector building base map. Uh, Ninja in trouble. Could get decrews. I think he needs to go for like a manual attack round there. He wins coming back for the brain section. Pretty big health. Disadvantage for the sections here, so they have to get out. Pretty close on victory points, though. I mean, to this point, I would have said Miguel probably had stronger map control, but not reflected that much in the victory points. I haven't really seen Miguel using the Vet 1 high explosive on the Stug much either. I wonder if he's aware of uh, like how good that ability is. Probably would have used it like six times by now if I was him. <laughs> he might be saving though for the uh, loiter. He's got it unlocked. There's a little bit more munitions for it yet. He's chasing away the AT gun. And we will have action. This could be the end of the engineers being Pegrin's lining up on them. Right, they have to cut and run with the commandos coming in. Protectors are isolated. We have been cut off. Section's big vet advantage here. Trading well. Kitten still alive. Still capping. Real Thorn of Momo side. Miguel now is the one with a lot of manpower floating. Our enemy I think he's going to build some Stoss through him. He's got loads of manpower. 
foot guards it is for Mo. He's close to the fuel for a tank. If he wanted to build a crusader, he'd probably not be building the foot guards right now. So maybe he's going to go for the Grant uh, if I had to guess. Freshly buffed up. He's not under too much pressure. He's got time to invest in that side tip. But he's getting a little bit low here. Oh, he jumps out. Capping in the north now. Alarm! All victory points are under enemy control. Grenade! Fire! Ooh, there we go. Miguel using the VIT-1 ability there. A good connection. Three-story building here. Out the back. So far, Amiibo feels like it hasn't had that much of an impact. Seems to be getting stuck in. Well, this Stug could have come in from the side here. Stug having to get out now. Freshly buffed foot guards, by the way, remember. Seems to be coming back in. The guards are doing very well. Chasing down the Stug. We get a little bit of repairs on this. Am I staying offensive? Oh. He was hoping the Stug would drive into that. It was... Not that it was the kitten. It's still so fast with the damage engine, you know. It's another mine here. The Stug is a little bit cornered. Can blast his way out with the Vet 1, though. Uh, how? I mean, I know it was the AT gun, but... I thought that was home free. Foot guys use their Vet 1 here. Get onto the side armor. Most to pop the V1. Stug does rotate quite slowly. And there it goes. Foot guys chasing it down. So a couple of misplays with the Stugs there from Miguel. I don't think either of those vehicles needed to die. Both of those were avoidable losses. Not entirely sure why he backed up into here and then tried to back around. And that foot guard V1 is just, it's so good, man. It's crazy how good that ability is. There's a reason to build foot guards. It's that V1 ability stunning the tanks in place. Hands of four now coming for Miguel. Got a Matilda out for Momo. Commander's in trouble. You might lose vision of them coming around this corner for a second, though. Oh, he still gets the white. Now comes some stops for Miguel. He's still got 300 manpower for all of that. Could be a decent time he's repaired this up to maybe put it on like recon mode. Try to do some scouting through the middle, try to find Momo's units, because feels like that Nebel Wolf has had a lot of downtime so far this match. Momo's taking control of a good chunk of the map again. It's a shot on. He got out the back and it's pretty good connection, the AT gun's there. Probably revealed itself shooting at the P4. Hey, T Gun's under pressure though. Momo's coming in. Maybe you're hoping for a decrease. We have the tactical advantage. We must make a stand. 
Oh, gets the engineers. Picks up the flamer. Tilda did get a pin nerf a while ago, so it is not very effective against the Panzer Force front. Rebuild on the pies from Miguel. Here come the foot guards though, you can't linger around in front of them. And he's getting out and out. Trying to kite, try and get a couple hits in. They're so spread out though. It looked like the Panzer IV was kind of shooting at the model that was on the very outer edge as well, so such a high chance of it scattering in a bad position. Okay, causing the loiter to buy himself a bit of breathing room here. We retake the middle. Missing a few retreats. But he did cap up a lot of this area while all this was going on. Kitten really. A lot of trouble for my right. Seems to be a prime map for it, and there seem to be quite a few roads for it to zoom around on as well. Now under enemy control. Amplifying its mobility even further. Oh, we're having to send some valuable squads to down here. Do some capping. These days, you know, you can send your engineers down, especially like a sweeper squad. Can be pretty good. Since you might run into some kitten mines, though, as we've seen so far, Miguel having to save his munitions for the off map Meloita. Kitten goes down over here, though. To the AT gun. Oh, okay. Wow. That's a big breakthrough for Momo. Good machine gun. Momo is lacking indirect fire right now. He went for the LMG paradrop as well. I wonder if he's regretting that. Second P4 popping out for Miguel. I wonder if he's going to go for the skirts now. Yeah, you know, pack out could go quite a long way right about now, but does not have the option. That was a good connection. T guns take heavy damage, need to go back to base for healing. This is again where the frontline medical station could uh, work very well. The Momo. Initiating research. You have orders? Okay, he's setting up into the retreat path here. Maybe we're going to look for a squad wipe on this green here. Yeah, first two shots from the tanks, quite weak. I think there was a possibility here. It was unlikely, though. A lot of things would have to go right from Moat. Yep, he's got the skirts now. Having him bounce off for a couple of those bazookas, perhaps. Oh, big grenade onto the machine gun. Just survived, though. Wow. Second Matilda for Momo now. He's also got quite a lot saved up. Maybe thinking about an AT Lloyd himself. Yep, here it comes. There's a force trying to back away. Centaur coming in. Oh, splashdown. AT gun decrews. And Miguel can't stay in here. Squad here providing vision. They come through for another pass. Stoss troop and jump on the AT gun. We were out the back. The double ATs and Momo are also in some trouble now. 
Well, I was looking for the wipe on the Stoss. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Our AT gun has been destroyed. We don't want to fucking miss her. A bit more damage down there. Uh, you can imagine if those were the Axis loiters. It would have been much more successful. Those rocket loiters are not as good. Is that Matilda smoke there? Hmm, I don't know if that was the right call for Momo. Now he can't just auto attack the B-Greens. Maybe he's trying to save the AT gun, but it doesn't seem to have worked out for him. This is what I was saying. Once the B-Greens get vet, you know, vet 2 onwards, they are actually very good. You saw them just eating those sections for breakfast, but... Before then, can be uh, a problem. Let's try and steal back one of these and kill off the other. Do you guys notice it seems like as the machine gun sets up it has one arc and then it's like slightly different once it's fully set up? I don't know if I noticed that last patch. Ooh! Squad down trying to crew the machine gun. It's a real death zone here as these two players contend for control of these. More out the side capping. Look guards pinned. Central's coming in. It's gonna go after the machine gun with it. One P4 is healthy. Miguel has been lagging in terms of repairs. He's lost a couple pie squads, and I don't know if this one even has the sweeper upgrade. After all the rebuilds. And the Centaur is not completely defensive, so after that last round of changes, the scatter changes and the deflection damage, even though it struggles to pin the Panzer IV, still hits for quite a lot of damage on it. The T gun's still up for grabs here, I'm just going to try to get on it again. I think just trying to divert Miguel's attention away from the AT gun so he can uh, recover it here. At the moment though, Momo is down by about 90 victory points, so he's got to get something going. He's make, make his way into the middle. And here comes the loiter now from Miguel. P Green's right on top. They decrew that AT gun so quickly. AT Loiter gets some decent damage on infantry as well. But guards pop the V1, he's jumping on the AT gun. The guards get pinned though, they can't fire the AT gun lining up. Might be able to get two shots and I don't think he's going to be able to get the kill in. Yeah. For guards didn't get pinned there if the Loiter went after a different squad, maybe, but... Wasn't to be for Momo. He always oh, coming back in with the Matilda though. This is a big mistake, I think. I have to wait and see. He's trying to hold on to this AT gun, but decrews it again. There's another squad right here for the recruit. It's going to take a lot of damage on this Matilda. Centaur doing work in the north though. Looking for the Stoss wipe. Oh boy, and they get it too. That Centaur is really fast now, Vet 3, isn't it? Okay, unvetted Centaur wouldn't have got the job done there. Interesting. I thought maybe with officer training you might get straight Vet 1 on the stolen AT gun, but no, it's just for the pack. German troops only trained on the pack, not on the six pounder. So I'll get immediate bit one. Oh, that Matilda! Goodness. Okay, Moa with a stun on the Panzer again. There's no AT gun backing this up though. Oh, and that's a big grenade from the P Greens. Because the sound's getting quite low here. 
This should hold you for now. Oh, we're down on the victory points, though. He did lose control up here in the north for a while. Now there's 69. Is it from the side of Matilda? A lot of support weapons here in a compromised position. Oh, they're so stacked on top of each other, Matilda. Nuking them. Delta 4 is trying to get onto the rear armor here, though, of the Matilda. It's going to take damage every single time from that position. Smoking that one out. Bounce, bounce, bounce. The P4 is now in trouble. Oh, and it's Miguel who comes out on top there. The AT gun under Nebel for pressure. Oh, he popped the VET-1 on the Panzer. Faster reload. And he's going in. Oh boy, but Momo took back the AT. Oh, then he bounces the kill shot. And then the Panzer IV goes down. Tragedy. Oh, Miguel, no. Took him so long to kill this Matilda. No one's going to kill this one off now. He's very far ahead. Look at that, like 30-ish population. Miguel, not particularly close to another loiter either. But these bit three panzergrims, though. Where the hell did they come from? Taps into the building here. Work her into the middle. Finds the team weapons back there. Pretty good. Machine gun though. Suppressing. Fresh Panzer IV for Miguel. Still down by about 30 population though. Well, MG gets decrewed. Look God stunning. Look God's pinning at a decent rate, actually. More pins on the uh, front of the P4 than I was expecting. Decrew both of these, but Momo in position to retain them. He's got a lot of resources floating as well, Momo. Guessing it's going to be another Matilda. He did build a uh, Crusader, though. The enemy have taken our territory. Let's drop in some more commandos. Okay. And commandos do have a capture rate bonus as well, so they're a decent capping score. I think it's like twenty-five percent. Going after the machine gun. We have territory cut off from supplies. Well, still at 200 VP, so he's got a bit of time to work with, but you don't want to be under that triple cap pressure. He's got three pairs of fours coming in. And these kind of ultra late games are where the infantry reserves really shines. This is such a big buff in these long games. See the KD slightly favoring Momo. Two more vehicles killed. One of them will be a uh, kitten, of course. Three more models killed. Okay. Three P4s are rolling on through here. He drops a loot and Miguel is making some big plays. This could be the end of Mo. Centaur goes down real fast. Oh boy. One P4 down. A T gun though also taking some big damage from the loiter. Look that's coming in, but I imagine they're gonna get pinned in the next pass, so. They can't really help, and now Miguel maybe going to be able to retake a lot of these team weapons. 
Pyros go down to the Crusader up here while all this is happening, though. That's a big push from Miguel, especially if he can grab both of these AT guns. He needs to handle these commandos, though. He's gonna steal them back. It's down to 100 points now, though. Increase security around the HQ. We are down to 100 points. Before he's heading down here. Seeing the high health one in first is good. Don't want to take a engine damage, if possible. Ooh, big hits from the P4 there. He's hoping for more as well. No. Bad scatter on it. We have lost control of the victory point. Pretty good hit there though. Section has to give up the cap. We're staying in right on the edge. 75 points remaining for Check our guards making some moves. Picked up by another Matilda now, but Miguel did take back those two AT guns. Should swing things in his favor here. Oh, big hit foot guards, lucky to survive. He rebuilt the kitten for capping, that's very interesting. I think it's a like, pretty smart idea, honestly. Maybe gonna try push out another Panzer IV, then make a uh, play here. Brings him for some vision in the middle. That's what I was hoping you'd do earlier. So Momo's bringing in the naval bombardment over here. He really wants to deny this victory point capture. If he's almost even here. He's now taking a risk, trying to cap on the edge, but he's gonna be retreating back through here. Cost him his squad. Oh, this squad's got the MG and the Vic... Uh, the Vickers? No, the Bren. Didn't manage a clean dodge on the grenade though, so it does end up losing. You may notice that the section was, uh... running gunning with that machine gun. Unlike Company of Heroes 2... Company of Heroes 3, whether you can fire on the move is determined by the weapon, not by... Holder in a lot of cases. Except for ranges. So firing on the move weapons like that. Walking on everything. Gets the squad wipe up here, goes for the cap with the foot guards. Smoking cap, cheeky stuff here. He's gonna need to get some good attack rounds going. Pretty solid so far. 17 points left for Mo. It's gonna stop the clock here. 13. The enemy has taken a victory point. 12, no 12. Drops in some falchion pyros desperately to cap. Decent grenade from the commandos. They're on the move. Miguel going for the cap again. He's at 50. Oh, forces away the Falchion Pyro. He's already got Vet 3 on this. Let's see that enter cap now. Drops in some Falchion Jaeger next. Oh, there goes the Crusader. Crusader over here trying to make some plays, but I don't know. Tilda goes down to the double ATs. It's a mad dash for the VPs. 
Another Crusader goes down. Good grenade from the False Omega. The Foot Guards are still here, though. They decrew all the AT guns. Maybe they could steal them with one of the sections. P4, VIT3 in major trouble. Every shot penetrates from the bazookas. He gets a bit lucky. Pops onto the VIT1. Faster rate of fire on the P4, but the AT guns are facing the exact right direction here. And they knock out the Panzer IV because of it. Oh no. Miguel needs to cap. I think if I was him, I'd go to this point with the kitten. But he's trying to make a play for the middle. Circles around. Pyo's looking for the D crew here. They're probably going to get it as well. 16 points. Tries to kill this one off. Mo heading up to here, expecting the harass. Oh no, he left the circle. Just a couple of seconds of progress. He's plopping down a bunker here. I don't know about this. Here come the commandos. He's going up to protect this. Mad dash for the victory points. He gets a grenade off. That's the end of the kitten. Cancels the bunker. Maybe he's going to try dropping another yeah, Falschen Jäger. Yep. Commander's doing their best. There's the smoke. Might be on cooldown. Commander's getting overwhelmed. Hiding in the circle. Two Breen sections coming in now. Oh, and this is the Breen LMG squad. There's a cheeky grenade. It's a really good connection with their commander grenades. Volshimega were deployed up on the top here. But the Viet 3 Royal Engineer is going to handily beat them at this range. We have reports of a Volshimega have been killed. And it looks like Momo's going to take it. Oof. Can't believe it. Oh man, it was looking pretty much so enough for Momo at one stage there when he was like 30 population ahead, but then Miguel made that great attack. Triple P4s combined up with the loiter just overrun Momo as a real back and forth. Basically, who was ever in control of like the three anti-tank guns and one machine gun the trading hands in the middle was winning. But in the end, Momo able to squeak it out. That foot guard squad taking on basically two Panzer IVs by itself. Helping Momo seal the deal. Can't believe it. Incredible. But yeah, we saw Miguel with some very strong kitten crowd play. I think that kept him in the hunt for a long time. This match. I wonder if he would have considered going for a broom bear as well. Do you think Broom Bears are generally pretty good against Brits and they're good against the Matildas as well because they've got that deflection damage. Even though the Matildas got very high armor, Broom Bear still does damage to them each shot. Might be worth switching to that instead of a P4 from time to time. But oh well, GG, a very entertaining match. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like good game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.